Your UX portfolio could be the reason that you are not landing any interviews. In fact, it could be small, easy to miss mistakes that sends hiring managers the wrong message, costing you that dream job. So today we're going to go over four common UX portfolio mistakes that are costing you the job. So we all know that your UX portfolio is not just pretty pictures. It's not just like the cute little graphics that you can create. No, this is your first and probably only impression as a UX designer. When you're hi when hiring managers are looking through your stuff, when design managers are looking through your projects, you want to make sure that you're putting your absolute best foot forward. Okay. First mistake is no context or explanation. So that could be, so that can present itself in a few different ways without any context of what the project is, what your role was in it, anything like that, that just kind of gives somebody who's never seen it before an explanation can really make your project start to feel really disjointed. You want to make sure that you are putting in your why they know exactly what problem that you're trying to solve, because if they can't immediately recognize it, they're going to dismiss it and move on to the next one. So make sure you're including problem statements, goals, thoughts on your design process, where in the design process certain things fall into any user interviews, research, also throw in um, any design principles that you use. I think when we spend so much time looking at our own case studies and our own project, we already kind of know what's going on, but you have to step outside of that and realize Whoever's looking at this for the first time hiring manager, they have no idea. They don't have the same level of context as you. So it's up to you to make sure that you convey that in a way that's easy for them to digest. You don't want to have any missing steps in the UX process because that that makes it really hard for employers to assess how you handle work as a designer. You know, when you don't show um, any early research, any iterations of your design, any user testing, even if it's just like one or two people that you tested it with, it shows that maybe you are skipping steps in the process, which does not come across as a well written the designer. Now, this one is a little nitpicky, but you can immediately see the difference when it changes the overall quality of your portfolio is when your graphics or your text are too small. Just like if you were working on a UX design project in the field, in practice, readability is major. If your portfolio has accessibility issues, I would not trust you as a UX designer to create something that does not have accessibility issues. Does that make sense? You don't want people squinting and zooming in and like, what does that say when they're really trying to get through this information? When things are too small, it automatically creates a sense of friction and you don't feel it's not going to leave the hiring manager feeling very great about the overall presentation. So for just quick rule of thumb, stick with 16 point font for body text, just ease of use that'll cover you in most cases and just make sure your images are large enough to show what you're trying to show you know what i mean like if you're trying to show me a um a certain feature make it large enough so i can see the feature not that i'm saying to be overwhelming and over cluttered but make what you're showing prominent recruiters hiring managers cannot easily digest the information they're not going to spend time sifting through it like i said they have so many more to review so it's just going to go in the no pile and we do not want you guys in the no pile you know the ultimately the way that you present your work directly correlates with how your work and your skills are perceived so if you're serious about refining your ux skills and building a job winning portfolio i highly recommend you guys check out springboard who's sponsoring this part of today's video as you know i talk about springboard all the time it's a fantastic program that not not only teaches you the essentials of UX, but also pairs you with a mentor to guide you through building a portfolio that truly stands out. So whether you're just starting out or looking to make a career switch, Springboard's hands-on approach will help you feel confident and prepared when applying for UX jobs. You guys are watching this because you're probably interested in UX design. And if you want to be in a position similar to where I'm at, then I think this is a great path for it. The next few months, it's going to be cold. It's going to be dark. We got nothing really going on. And if you really want to better yourself for the new year, get a little bit ahead of it. I so recommend this program. And if you want a little bit of money off, use the code Stephanie M to get a thousand dollars off this program as well as any of their programs. Definitely check it out if you're ready to take your UX skills and your portfolio to the next level. Okay, next one, I'm just going to touch on it briefly. Broken links or missing content. Anything that is a broken link or missing content or an image is not loading properly, immediately disrupts the flow of reviewing a portfolio. That's it. And that's all. I, it'd be hard to move forward. You know what I mean? If I saw that. So it can be a deal breaker for hiring managers because they could see that as a sign of just like negligence and not paying attention to detail. And if you're going for a UX design job, you need to be paying attention to, to detail. So like I said before, guys, the way that you present your portfolio directly impacts how they see you as a designer. 
even before they even like get into your resume, into your skills. So you want to make sure that you are auditing your own portfolio. You are testing the links. You are loading them on mobile, on web, tablets, like whatever you can to make sure that everything is looking good across the board. You don't want to give the impression that you do not value the user experience because that is a huge red flag and I would not hire you if that was the case. Okay. Not having a focus on problem solving. I don't want to look through a portfolio and see just like the pretty images, everything went perfect. There needs to be a problem associated with it. It can't just be like, oh, I changed the colors on the Starbucks app on a whim because I think these colors read better. Okay, what was the problem behind it? It's about creating functional solutions that meets a user's need. Was there a need for the users to change the Starbucks app? Explain. Explain your reasoning, explain your problem. While, you know, final designs are important, they're more interested in how you got there. You know, it's always like in math class when they're like, show your work. Don't just show me the answer. I want to see how you got to it. The exact same thing applies here. Show me your iteration. Show me what worked. Show me that your users did not like the um, prototype that you put out. The usability test failed. Like these are the kinds of things that they want to see because it is true to life. In the years that I've been doing this, not a single project has gone to plan. Not a one because that's just, it's just really not the case. Show what guided your design decisions, any data that helped back it up, how you iterated based on feedback. Like all of that meat and potatoes is more important than I think just the final product. It's more than just the visuals. It shows that you are thinking about creating a usable and meaningful experience for your users. Okay. So those are my four tips for you guys. Hopefully you can take what I said and apply it to your own portfolios. The point of this guys is to not let the small stuff like this that I listed take you down, take you out of the running. And I have started, and I also link up the video, a little series where I am reviewing your guys' portfolios and resumes, and I have a backlog. Okay, if you guys have sent me yours, I promise I'm working through it. It's taking me a little bit, but I think maybe the next video or two, I will have another one up. If you want to get your portfolio or your resume or just one case study reviewed by me, there is some info down in the description box, which is like the email to send it to, and I will be working through the backlog. So yeah, I'm just trying to like give back and do what I can to help you guys because you guys help me out so much. So, <sighs> okay, I needed to take a breath. I was talking very fast. So Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to check out Springboard. Use the code STEPHANIEM to get $1,000 off that UX UI bootcamp. And if you are not sick of me saying the word portfolio, check out this video here where I go over one of my audience members' portfolio, kind of give them some feedback and apply some of these tips. So if you're interested, check out that one right there.